A troublemaker of Skugiheim. Wait, who did you just... Hey everyone, Mango7Roll here. How we doing today? Welcome to another episode of Epic 7. And you know, we've lost our budget on costumes. We're down to this one sweater. Our lights are out, but don't worry. In the light of Epic 7, fixing all those problems. I'm really comfy and it's awesome. Also, if you look right, right in the right in the corner, you can see lights. I got one of those little strobe things. It's super cool and I love it and I'm super cozy. We've got Fumir here, um, but on the Taj pick of the lights going out and everything, um, I'm going to be starting to promote the membership side of YouTube a little bit more <laughs> just as a heads up, but I think it'll be super beneficial for anybody who um, has five bucks, I think it is, or something like that. Basically, like a Prime sub, I guess you don't pay for a Prime sub, like a T1 sub on Twitch is what it comes down to. Um, and I'll be adding boatloads more to it in the future. I'm never going to block anything required to watch. And if anybody had uh, a video they really wanted to see publicly that was private, I would I would put it out there anyway. Um, there'll be pictures of my dog, Z. There's three of them. You only really see one so far. Um, there will be pictures of random stuff like anime figures, uh, maybe food. I really like food, guys. Uh, maybe uh, some other stuff. You know, just the usual stuff. I, I just want you to get to know me more and stuff that I can't just put put a video out for, right? Like, it'll... If I if I do videos like that, it'll, it'll tank the channel more than it's already tanked, right? But I want to do those videos because that's super fun to me. So we're gonna, we're gonna do that. Anyway, it's there if you want to help support, blah, blah, blah. Let's get into Firmer. <laughs> How do you say her name? Fumir or Firmer? <laughs> hopefully, hopefully she tells me after she brings me over. It's a she, I think. So, oh, oh, wait, I'm going to pause it. So let me preface, preface that by saying I have been out of it for a month in this game. So I have no idea who this is. I think I saw a picture and that was it. And I don't know what's good, what's not good right now. I don't know the recent characters um, and, and stuff that's coming, blah, blah, blah. But uh, I, I'd like to see what this character does. You're my new toy. So far, I like her. I now, love the chaotic let's type. Let's give this spell a whirl. Oh, that turned out pretty nice. That's some nice hair. Hmm. What should I test next? Okay. So, <laughs> I didn't mean to, guys. That wasn't my plan. I wasn't over here like, I'm going to pause it right on the boobs. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to see her, um... VA. Hmm. What Kelly should Bastard. I test next? Interesting. So a troublemaker of Skugaheim who hides her inner thoughts behind a smile. Interesting. Um, okay. Next. Fumir is a shadow elf, renowned for her mastery of shadow magic and famous for her eccentricity. Yep. Her perpetual smile, her tone, and her seemingly carefree mm, demeanor. Mm, mm, mm. I'm cosplaying her right now. Guys, 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 guys. I'm cosplaying her. Look, look, if she had a hood on, and if you see the lights in the background, do you see them? Do you see them? They're very, very... One second. Do you get it? Because everything's galaxy-like, and my ceiling, there's moons on my ceiling. I'm c Guys, come on, I'm trying here. Belie the complicated inner workings of her mind. She was responsible for a significant incident in the past, causing her people to shun her. Nonetheless, she remains unfazed by their rejection. Fumir's life goal is to acquire knowledge from- 115 speed, 673 defense. Oh, it's all show corners all of the world. And she has an unquenchable. Oh, look at that little happy research. smile. Fumir is a five. Okay. Fumir, five star ice mage, 115 defense. I don't know how much of this we knew before, um, but none of it for me. 
so she is an attack based unit as well she has effectiveness and er okay with the imprint concentration effectiveness so um implying she's going to want at least 60 effectiveness or like 60 to 100 right because just to kind of like obviously it's pushing all these stats so I, I feel like that's trying to ease up one of these and if it's giving you er you've got to want to go like nearly all in right interesting stats and anyway let's just watch five star ice elemental mage she has high effectiveness and can increase her effectiveness further through her imprint concentration okay skill two elemental inquiry this is not a passive which is probably awesome i love don't give them an extra turn okay okay can they can they do it can can they do this without giving her an extra turn so elemental inquiry at the start of oh God, you guys can see everything right yeah um sort of fire and earth oh I don't know if this is like an elemental affinity thing, but if so, I am all for it, and I'm guessing other people are not going to be. <laughs> but this is cool. So let's let's keep going here. Sorry, I should I should power through this mango. You can do this. You've done this for five years, ten years. How many years you can do this? After attacking on the caster's turn, when elemental wisdom is stacked to three, it consumes all to activate fruit of knowledge. And once every four turns so elemental wisdom here is defense plus five percent so that's 15 percent and elemental wisdom granted by an ally other than the caster only once per element what's going on here <laughs> i don't know what's going on but i guess we'll find out in a second and then fruit of knowledge dispels all buffs from enemies so of course this does not attack so, um, no elemental disadvantage. 75% uh, to put them asleep before. A 60% chance to decrease defense for two turns. So, what is the reasoning between the order there? I don't understand. I'm sure there's like a, a PvP thing for it, but I, I don't fully understand it. So, sleep first, and then defense down. Elemental Inquiry. Weird. At the start of fire and earth elemental allies turns, and at the start of the caster's turn, grants elemental wisdom to the caster. After attacking on the caster's turn, when elemental wisdom is stacked to three, consumes all to activate fruit of I just said this. I mean, let's can just- Can only be added. Knowledge just... dispels all buffs from He's all not buffs. Say anything knowledge else there. Okay. dispels all buffs well, from I all enemies. Animation. And has up to a 100% oh, yeah, <laughs> chance to put them to sleep for two turns. Before okay. up to an 85% chance to decrease defense for two turns. Skill 3. Sensory dissect. So... Oh my... What's going on here? It's over 9,000? No! It's exactly 9,000. Fabricates an illusion, decreasing buff durations of the enemy by one turn and attacks. Decreasing speed for two turns, so that's one target for two turns before decreasing CR by 30%. Oh, the first part is just blah da dee blah. Um, a successful attack deals 3,000 fixed damage when the caster is granted Ellie Wisdom. Which they will be, right? Um, but you can't use this first turn then, right? Start of fire element. Oh, yeah, never mind. Yeah, you can. I forgot. <laughs> I thought you had to proc this first. The, uh, um, uh, fruit of knowledge thing. Okay. But it's just that. So a successful attack deals 3k. Yep. Uh, fixed damage up to 9k. So three stacks, 9k. I'm assuming that's pretty good, right? <laughs> that seems fun, at least. Let's see what's of going on. By one turn She's a hard character attacks, to understand. Decreasing speed um, for two turns before decreasing it, it, combat readiness by 30 I'm not a very read and understand a person. A successful attack does 3,000 fixed damage. Buddy, I just said this in wisdom. like a lot less sense. Oh, um... 
I'm I'm a much more doer and the then learner. Of elemental wisdom stats oh, that's, up to a maximum of nine thousand. When twenty soul is consumed, that's beautiful. The back resistance. That's Still so cool. One. Uh, okay, so subtract, substractal, substratal experimentation, straddle. Attacks the enemy with an elemental reaction with a 50%. Oh, okay. Is is there no extra turn, no anything like that in her entire kit? And then her burn was ignores ER here. Interesting. I don't know what to think about this, but I think it's interesting. I can't tell you at all what she does, to be honest. <laughs> like I don't I don't I know what she does, but I don't know what role she's gonna take or anything like that outside of like all the debuffs. Skill and one, substrate like that, experimentation. Right? Uh, so let's take a look at this. So Umbral Ooh, let's not. Let's take a look at your skill one. For two turns. Okay, ready? Ah! okay, let's take a look at our artifact here. Umbral keystones. Increase the effectiveness of all allies by 10%. You can't see the bottom, but don't worry, it's the same as the top. Uh, at the end of every two ally turns, except for the caster. So worse in in three persons, unfortunately, but I guess that's okay. Uh increases combat readiness of the caster by 10%. And then that's only once every two turns. I guess it's not really going to be, be a big deal. It's going to happen super quick. Um, and only one person per team. Interesting. That's a, that's a really weird artifact too, eh? But I guess I like it. A little bit of CR boost. And I guess that's <laughs> some effectiveness. Effectiveness is always good. There's not many units that, that just don't have a debuff, right? Like, think about when you're trying to make a uh, lab team for Julieve Council and they all have debuffs, right? Like, everybody's got a little something for the most part. Um, but yeah, that looks pretty cool. I think that's great. Let's see how she sits. A troublemaker of Skugiheim. Wait, did she just... Did she just... Nah. There's no way I miss that every time. Hero within a team. Now, let's give this spell... A tro How did I miss that? Oh no, I don't have enough to get her, by the way. So, I... I... This may be the first money spending time no, it won't. Uh, I won't break it. But we will get there. Uh, we will get there. There's got to be enough I can do before she's gone to get her. Yes, there can. I'm confident. I did not notice she snaps. Do note, reverse 99, 1999, literally number one gotcha of all time for me in terms of story uh, and the story experience. But what I'm what I mean to say with it is the um what are we talking about again? I get so excited when I talk about reverse 1999. Um every time I talk about it, I get so excited. Uh we were talking about something. The snapping, yes. Uh my first favorite character I found was Tenant. And I did not know it at the time, but she also snaps in her thing. She's a fire. Um, dabity shoot people. <laughs> so I I really like her and I love the snapping. I don't know why. Apparently that's thing uh, a thing. Fun fact. So ah, so this sucks. So I hate the membership stuff. Let's be real. I don't I don't like promoting it. I'd rather just make videos. More fun. But the stuff i would want to put on there is stuff like i just thought up but then i'm like i want to tell you guys that right like we were just talking about the snapping thing and i was about to say you know fun fact about me i nearly vomit trying to snap i can't do it it is vile to me it i don't know why i can i can crack my knuckles i can do everything but the feeling of moving the two fingers together, 
like, ugh. It's like, uh, and I'm not like that with most things, but that is one thing that just drives me bonkers. Um, and I was going to say that that would be a pretty good, like, background thing for somebody who wanted to know more about me that I might randomly post there. Uh, anyway, she's got her legs crossed, really cute shoes, pumps, heels. I don't know the lingo. Um, I love those little tassels. I know those are tassels because uh, uh, I watch StarCraft a lot. Those better be tassels after this. I watch StarCraft a lot, and the guy's name is Tasteless, and we always call him tassels. Um, bad meme, sorry. Uh, I don't know what she's holding there. I guess I'll see in a second. It looks like a box of some sort. Um, cute. Players will be able to meet from here through the drop rate up banner starting to... Oh. It's a jeweler's kit. No. Do they design these characters for me? Like, does everybody have the exact same things they love? Like, I love, like, jewelers and tailors and stuff like that. Uh, in games, I love the galaxy stuff, of course. I love the darker, not shades of purple, but, like, darker blackish, bluish stuff. Like, this is top tier for me in, like, every stretch. I love the the gloves. I don't know why my... Actually, I know why. You know what's funny? My lights that are going around, that's what's screwing up my webcam right now. Um, but I love the... Uh, everything about her, honestly, amazing. And it just feels like they keep designing characters like this, where every <laughs> everything is like, yeah, that's my favorite thing. Yep, that's my other favorite thing. Uh, November 16th. Thank hopefully, you. Hopefully... Hopefully I get lucky. Oh, I love the... Okay, let's see what she's actually meant to do. Okay, so looking at this battle, we have... Um, I was like, who's that? Is that a skin? That, that's all. That, that was my 10 second thought there. So we have uh, good old Lydica. We have the Vivian and Savior, and we have a whole lot of units here. I actually don't know what those two back ones do. Um... And the other two are so annoying. Time I don't bother learning. <laughs> Very interesting. Okay, so forbidden spell. Destroy all. You are Okay, so there is the elemental thing there, right? So she's got one. Who exactly? Burning which Did did they not show what the burn was? Buddy, come on! What did the bird do? Oh, ignore CR. I'm over here. I'll show you something cool. So, when you so good. I fight with the power of all. Take no. Okay, yeah, I'm sold. Looks really sweet. Excited to try her out. Still not sure what she does in a in a nutshell. Like I know what she's gonna do, and I'm excited to try her out and actually learn how her kit works and understand like the repercussions of going to different levels of the elemental stuff. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe as always, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye everybody.